with five seconds to go. Tatum dribbles to the left elbow, jumper in the air, got it! Tatum wins it with the bucket. Jason Tatum hit the game-winning jumper Sunday afternoon, but get this, his teammate, Jalen Brown, leads the NBA in scoring. Let me repeat that for you. Jalen Brown leads the NBA in scoring. Brown was outstanding from start to finish Sunday afternoon, and he eclipsed the 30-point mark for the third time this season by notching a game-high 31 points. Brown now has 196 total points and 79 made field goals on the season, and both of those numbers led the NBA at the conclusion of this win. So while Tatum gets the glory from making that shot during the final seconds, Boston wouldn't have even been there if it hadn't been for Brown carrying the team for the first three plus quarters. Uh, that's big time. He's been playing great. He's been really shooting, like shooting the lights out. Obviously, he was working on his game each and every year. Uh, and, and so on. This game moves awfully fast for young players. It slows down significantly with more experience. And um, he has worked really hard on that part of his game. As you get more experience, you know, things start to develop for you. So the more opportunities I've gotten, um, the better things have gotten for me. Now, while we're on the topic of this fire and ice combination of Brown and Tatum, let me relay a couple more statistics about their performance Sunday afternoon. As I said, Brown broke the 30-point barrier for the third time this season in only seven games. Last season, he only had six such performances in the entire year, so he's having a heck of a scoring run to open this season. Tatum, meanwhile, dished out a career-high 12 assists, and he did so without committing a single turnover during the game, so a sparkling performance from Tatum as well. Now those two, as well as the rest of their teammates, are going to be back in action Monday night when they take on the Raptors in Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is where the Raptors will be playing their home games during the pandemic. So that game tips off Monday night at 7.30, and you can catch it on NBC Sports Boston. Reporting for Celtics.com, I'm Mark D'Amico.